Hello lovelies, today's tutorial is going to correspond to a needle felting pendant kit that I have in my Etsy shop, these Field of Tulips. This was inspired by my mom, um, her favorite color is yellow, she loves tulips and the country, and uh, I wanted to make her something special for Mother's Day, so uh, she and my stepmom are going to be getting see these cute little, cute little pendants. And every you have in the kit, you have the wool, the needles, the frame of your choice, and um, this is the instructions for it. There are two types of frames, the antique brass one and the silver locket. Both, uh, you can put pictures or all kinds of things in there. And then uh, both have used the same template, they're both about 40 millimeters long, and uh, your template is cut out better than mine, I was freehanding mine. But um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get started with some core wool. This is just making a little canvas base to work on and it'll feel pretty fluffy, but remember as you work uh, with, with needle felting, as you work the wool, it will shrink. Go ahead and outline, make an outline um, around your template and be very careful not to stab yourself. And go slow. This this is um, this video is sped up for time's sake, so <laughs> don't feel like you have to do this quickly, especially if you're a beginner, because these needles do not feel good to be stabbed with. So anyway, um, continue felting and and kind of turn it over and just try to make it uh, as flat and match the template as as well as you can, and then we'll start uh, the fun part of painting with your colored felt. Remember to check for size uh, while you're working, size and shape, just to keep giving you an idea of what you want it to look like. Some people like the felt spilling over the edge of the into the frame, and some people like it nice and, and tight, uh, more like a cameo. So go ahead and you know do it the way you want, and when it starts getting a little, it has too many little dots in it, rub it between your fingers and your, your hands and that, that'll help. So um, just continue felting around the edges being very very careful and um, to, to really line, line it up and get it to an oval shape. I should mention about the needles throughout this video, um, in your kit you get three different sizes of needles. The biggest gauge is the one that I'm using to make the canvas and then to add all the smaller details I use the me medium size, medium gauge and the finer gauge needles. So um, you know, kind of get comfortable with it, you have enough wool to make a couple of them if you're if you're new to needle felting but like right now I'm using a medium gauge and um, I'll do that for all of the background and then I'll switch to a smaller gauge for all the small details and the flowers themselves and uh, you kinda get a feel for just what your preference is as as you work on these kinda things so um, just just a little note on that
example, the little clouds right here, I'm making, I'm using the finest uh, gauge needle. When you're doing those small details, the that gauge helps not push your whole line of, of wool down into your canvas. It kind of helps just adhere things and, and it doesn't leave too big of a hole in the finished finished product. So um, those small, fine, narrow details are what you use the finer gauge for. It's up to you the kind of uh, color coordination you want to do for the grassy areas. I used the darker mossy kind of color as the background and then um, the lighter kind of lime green color for the stems to make them pop, but inverting those colors would also look pretty. I just liked the more muted colors of the background because I wanted, to look, wanted it to look a little more realistic. And you'll just continue doing this until you're happy with the amount of um, canvas that's showing through or not, and then we'll move on to the flowers. Just to add a little depth to my field, I added some horizontal lines of the uh, lighter green and then started work on uh, the stems and y you just kind of have to layer it to make it to give it that, that realistic kind of feel and even after the video I went back and added a few more stems because it, it they were too muted. <laughs> so you know, it, it it'll, it'll, as you work you know, you'll kind of figure out how you want the the coloring and and everything to look. But taking a few of those horizontal lines, you can bring them up and make those into stems into the sky. We are going to be doing one more layer of the darker mossy green, and that will kind of, if you have any rounded areas um, at the bottoms of your stems, it'll help cover that up and it'll it'll just add to the the look of a field Right here I'm using a, a fine gauge and kind of switching with the middle gauge and that <laughs> my my camera got pushed a little bit but um, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again that I was just doing just trying to clean up all of the edges and the um, the little pieces of wool that are sticking out and I'm not adding anything I'm just I'm just cleaning up everything right here and kind of moving moving everything around with my little needles and um, 
I did go back and add just a couple more little uh, little stems and then um, then we'll start on the flowers. I don't know if I've mentioned this before about needle felting, but whenever you're working on a 3D piece like this, you really shouldn't be stabbing all the way through it into your foam, um, your foam pad underneath. It's more of a, you're trying to just stab the, the wool that you're working on. Um, to make the flowers, you kind of want to make a little heart V shape and just felt that over on itself to make the color more intense and I mean I'm going to be doing it over and over again so you'll be able to see but you're just that's the whole goal is making kind of a, a V or heart shape so that you can you can kind of see the petals starting to form and the good thing about working with the wool is that you know it kind of makes things makes things blur together and you know if you get if it starts getting too thick you can always snip uh, the extra wool with some embroidery scissors or um, regular sewing shears or whatever you have on hand but anyway and just just shape it as you want um, just keep 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 using your needles and uh, felt around it a little bit so that the colored wool doesn't get lost in your base and then when you're happy with them, go ahead and just make as many as this, of the flowers as the stems that you do have. And you can always add stems. I ended up adding a few. So go ahead and, and keep going with that. Okay, so I am uh, pretty happy with my flowers here, and I'm just going to continue to felt around the edges to make it more condensed and smaller, and keep in mind once you do glue your um, piece of felt down onto your base that the, the heaviness of a book or something that you lay on top of it will also condense it as well. And you just need to use regular fabric glue or craft glue. Um, I have a link to the one that I used on the blog post in the info box below and um, just leave it for about 24 hours after you've added the glue and um, it should be should come out finished 
see right here you just add the glue and compress it for a while and um, shouldn't shouldn't be any big trouble after that and this is what it looks like after it's um, finished being after the glue is dry and everything you can put a little pin on the back to make it a brooch if you want or hang it from a chain it just depends on the style of the person you're giving it to or yourself and I, you could also hang this in a dollhouse for a miniature <laughs> a miniature canvas or something so anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and uh, otherwise we'll see you next time thank you for watching